Oftentimes in life, the best moments are completely unplanned, and the same goes in showbiz. Think about finding love or stumbling upon your favorite shawarma place. Usually, you're not active looking for love or shawarma, but you get hungry one day, stop for some shawarma, and it's just magnificent, and boom, now you're in love. That's just the way she goes, and in MCU films, it's the same type of deal. In fact, 80% of Thor Ragnarok was unscripted. I just love it when actors flip the script and do whatever they want in a scene because it almost always results in some hilarious, heartfelt, and intense moments. Drax is a fan-favorite character, and for good reason. He doesn't say much, but when he does, you listen, and you probably laugh, too. The Guardians of the Galaxy are as comedic as they are intense, so Drax always finds his moment to shine, as was the case in Avengers Infinity War. When some of the Avengers meet the Guardians of the Galaxy, there's a standoff, and Star-Lord asks Iron Man, where is Gamora? Tony answers, who is Gamora? And then Drax chimes in with a perfectly timed, why is Gamora? The line was completely improvised by Dave Bautista and had the whole theater laughing. Man, I miss theaters. I still get emotional to this day when I think of the scene at the end of Avengers Infinity War where Spider-Man turns to dust in Tony Stark's arms. It's been over two years and it still makes me cry. But it turns out that it was Tom Holland's fault. He's the one who got us all in the feelings since he came up with the infamous I don't want to go, I don't want to go, sir, please. Supposedly, Holland repeats the line over and over again in his head to make himself cry and by saying it out loud, he made us all cry instead. <laughs> Blast you, Tom Holland! The first Iron Man set the entire MCU in motion, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. I don't want to think of what would have happened if this movie bombed at the box office, but luckily, I don't have to. The ending scene in the film where Tony Stark is talking to the press is a very important one, because that's when he announces to the world, I am Iron Man. But did you know that was completely unscripted? Yeah! It wasn't the plan for Robert Downey Jr. to say the line, but Kevin Feige loved it and kept it in the movie. The first time we met Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy was something. Our boy's just doing his thing, stealing a valuable orb from a cave on some unknown planet. When he's caught by Korath and his crew, he tries to show off by saying his outlaw name, Star-Lord, but Korath has no idea who he is. Chris Pratt then improvises on the spot as Star-Lord and asks if Korath's Ninja Turtle goons know anything. Guys, move! But they're drawing a blank as well. It really set the tone for the rest of the movie. Chris Hemsworth is quite a witty dude, but the whole Shakespearean style of the two Thor movies didn't really do his comedic chops justice. Luckily, with Taika Waititi at the helm, Hemsworth was able to kick things up a notch in Thor Ragnarok. When Thor and Hulk square up in the film, the Odin son says, He's a friend from work! before getting pummeled into the ring. Supposedly, the line was suggested by a Make-A-Wish kid who was visiting the set for a day. Good on Hemsworth for making it a part of the film. Captain America and Thor didn't get much screen time together in Avengers Infinity War, but they made the most out of the short time they had. The Battle of Wakanda at the end of the film was the first time these two saw each other in quite a while. Despite everything going on around them, they decide now's a good time to notice how different each other looks. Cap notices Thor's haircut, and Thor mentions how it looks like Cap copied his beard. Your haircut? Notice you've copied my beard? Oh, you gotta love the two Chris's improvising their witty lines on the spot. Tony Stark and Peter Parker's relationship was one of the strongest in the MCU. They were so good together, with Stark acting as a father figure to young Parker. One of the most heartfelt moments of their relationship happened in Spider-Man Homecoming, when Peter thinks Tony is reaching out for a hug when really he's just opening the door for him. It was all improvised by Holland. He went in for the hug and Robert Downey Jr. just rolled with it. It came off really well too, which just goes to show how much chemistry they have on screen. Odin, the Allfather, is one powerful being. But did you know he could growl too? Oh yeah. Sir Anthony Hopkins is quite the actor, especially when he gets all angry in his scenes. Early on in the film, Odin is going at Thor for being a cocky jerk face. Loki tries to step in, but Odin unleashes a growl that surprises the god of mischief and stops him in his tracks. Father. Hey! 
The reason why this scene was so believable is because Hopkins improvised the growl and legitimately stunned Tom Hiddleston. It's a really underrated moment in the first Thor film. The get help scene in Thor Ragnarok may be one of the funniest MCU scenes of all time. At some point in the film, Thor and Loki find themselves in a bit of a conundrum and need to get past some guards, so what do they do? Loki pretends to be hurt and Thor screams, get help, to cause all the guards come running. And once they're close enough, Thor throws Loki into them and they're all down for the count. The funniest part? The whole get help shtick was made up on the day of shooting. Robert Downey Jr. is an incredible actor, who's just as intense as he is witty and it showed in Avengers Endgame. While most of the moments I've covered so far have been funny, this one was much more dramatic. When Tony Stark returns from spending time in space with Nebula, he has a bone to pick with a certain Steve Rogers. He got all up in Cap's face and called him a liar, for one saying they'd lose together if the time came for it. It was a moment full of emotion and according to the Russo brothers, RDJ improvised most of that scene. Thor The Dark World may be one of the worst MCU movies, but it wasn't all bad because there were at least a few memorable moments from that film that happened when they actually showed Chris Hemsworth to be funny. Thor still wasn't yet accustomed to what you're supposed to do when you enter an apartment with a legendary hammer, so he decided to hang Mjolnir on a coat rack. It's one of the few moments that actually made me laugh in the film, and it was all completely improvised by Hemsworth himself. If there's something Tony Stark loves more than being a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, it's snacking. Supposedly, Robert Downey Jr. loves to hide food on set so he can eat while filming, and he even found a way to work it naturally into a scene. In the first Avengers movie, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner became quick friends who speak the same language, which leads to Tony nonchalantly offering Banner some blueberries while he's talking. It just happened so smoothly that it had to be unscripted moment, and it certainly was. That post credit scene in The Avengers was a pretty hilarious moment. We just talked about how RDJ loves to snack, and this post credit scene also involves the actor eating. What can I say? The guy just loves food. After The Avengers save the world from an alien threat, we see them all together, silently having some shawarma in a pretty much destroyed restaurant. It was the perfect ending since Tony Stark set it up earlier in the movie. Originally, when Hulk revived an unconscious Iron Man, he was supposed to say another line. But RDJ decided to say the now infamous shawarma line, and the rest is history. Anybody else hungry? I've already talked about a few Tony Stark and Peter Parker moments in this video, but now we'll talk about the first face-to-face -face interaction between the two heroes. In Captain America's Civil War, Tony goes to recruit Spider-Man for his team. He tries to sit down next to Peter, but Tom Holland's leg is in the way. Instead of cutting the scene and redoing it, Robert Downey Jr. just rolls with it and says, I'm gonna sit here so you move the leg. It was all improvised and Holland even admits to forgetting to leave RDJ a spot next to him. Way to be, Peter. Michael B. Jordan was recently crowned the sexiest man alive. But he's not too shabby an actor either. His performance as Eric Killmonger was one of the many reasons why Black Panther became a box office hit. He just played the villain with so much confidence and swag, and his entrance scene into Wakanda showed exactly that. He walks into the throne room, reveals who he is, and says a smug, Hey, Auntie. to the Queen Mother, played by Angela Bassett. The line was improvised and actually caught Bassett off guard. Iron Man, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man were a hilarious trio in Avengers Infinity War. While Iron Man and Doctor Strange are both cocky and arrogant characters, you have little old Peter Parker and his puppy dog eyes alongside them. There's a scene in the movie where Iron Man and Doctor Strange are talking, and Peter butts in to mention that he's backup if something goes wrong. It was improvised line from Tom Holland that led to an improvised line from Robert Downey Jr., who responded with, You're still away. The adults are talking. <laughs> Take that, Peter. While Clint Barton is a pretty badass dude, Hawkeye is the Avenger that's made fun of the most. He was brainwashed for most of the first Avengers movie, but actually had a pretty substantial role in Age of Ultron. Jeremy Renner had some great lines, including when he improvised about Quicksilver. Hawkeye and Quicksilver were annoying each other the entire movie, in a joking kind of way, which is why Clint contemplated ending the Quickster there and then. After Quicksilver runs away, Hawkeye says, Nobody would know. Last I saw him, Ultron was sitting on him. Never change, Renner. Never change. 
If there's one thing villains like to do, it's hide valuable things behind a secret door, and Tony Stark knows this. In the opening battle of Avengers Age of Ultron, the Avengers attack a hydro compound to retrieve Loki's scepter, and Stark finds a secret passage. It turns out that Robert Downey Jr. was super excited to find a secret passage because he was just repeating, please be a secret door, over and over again. The whole thing was improvised, too. We honestly don't blame him either because when you find a secret door in a video game, it's one of the best feelings ever. Ooh, secret door. Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter's relationships had its ups and downs like any other. They were a great match, but in the end, they lived such different lives and couldn't work it out. Still, Captain America the First Avenger did a great job of making us believe they had a chance, and one of the best moments in the film was completely improvised. After Steve goes from a scrawny dude to swole superhero, Peggy's there to see how he's feeling and just can't help but cop a feel on one of his new packs. After this scene, a lot of people were shipping Haley Atwell and Chris Evans. Pretty much everyone knows who Beyonce is in the real world, but not everyone in the MCU does. Well, most people in the MCU do, but not Wong, or at least we don't think he does it first. When Doctor Strange asks Wong for a book, Benedict Cumberbatch improvises and makes a Beyonce reference. So Wong looks at him as if he's never heard of Queen Bey before. Pfft, you're not fooling me, Wong. Later in the movie, we see Wong jam into single ladies, so I guess Beyonce must be his guilty pleasure. It's all good though, man. Mine's Adele. <laughs>